Hi, Casper here on the 24th of uh, May 2020, and in light of the um, sad, uh, untimely death of Denis de Rontu uh, in recent days, I thought I would open a 2012 Petit d'Eglise, so the second wine of um, L'Eglise Cliné, that great Pomerol um, property that he took over from his uh, father and really brought uh, to extraordinary prominence in. in uh, uh, among the wines of Pomerol, um, right to the forefront. Uh, so second wine, 100% gravel, 100% uh, Merlot on gravel. Um, let's see how it is doing. Deep ruby thing. Looks like a ruby actually with the setting sun, light as setting sun shining through it. It's a pretty thing, just slightly turning from ruby into garnet, but um, looks healthy anyway. I can still find a little a little um, oak here, and that comes across as almost a sandalwood, sort of quite exotic, quite exotic wood scent, and a lovely, lovely fruit aroma. A dark plum, but also very cherry, uh, red and black cherry, and no, it's a sort of licorice spice. It's um. Very nicely defined thing. There's nothing blobby about it, or or, or sort of overripe Merlot. It's just um, whisper, sort of tobacco-y. Spices. It's a lovely thing to smell. I must say, absolutely, it smells absolutely delicious. Hmm. That oak's there again on the palate. And in fact, some of the some of the tannins I think are almost certainly derived from from the oak. It's got a it has got a gravelly sort of te or, uh, it's texture to the structure, uh, a slightly stony sort of tannic tannic grip to it. It's a floral note as well, sort of almost violet sort of scent to it. It's really nicely structured wine. It's it's um it's got real drive and freshness and cut to it. It's um you know up for a hundred percent Merlot. It's it's really showing a lot of transparency and um and di a direction actually. It's it's uh it's very nice. It's it almost needs a bit more air. I, I opened this and decanted it um uh, fifteen or twenty minutes ago. I think I might leave the rest because it's it still seems a little bit tight at the um at the finish, but um gosh, it's one of those wines you go back to and every time you go back there's a little bit something a little bit different going on. Perhaps the oak is, is slightly dominant at this stage. I think with a bit more air, perhaps the fruit will catch up with the oak and perhaps a bit more age. I mean, there's absolutely no hurry to drink this. I think it'll go another, you know, six, seven, eight years, whatever, no no, no real problem. It's a lovely thing. It's clearly an extremely well-made thing and God, God bless Denis de Rontu, who's always a, uh, the soul of, of uh, a, the ho a, a fine host when, it, when one visits. Um, visited um, Eglise Cliné for uh, Prima and there it's changed again it's um gosh I'm enjoying that I think that's I think that's really impressive it's a second one it doesn't cost a lot of money but it's it's um you know Pomerol lovers looking for a bargain goodness me you couldn't do a lot better than that it's um and that extraordinary sandalwood oak Let's give a, a really slightly exotic touch to it. I'm very cherry. It's a lovely thing. There we are. That's been 2012 Petite Eglise uh, from um, 
the late Denis de Rontuve, sadly missed, but um, a delicious thing, lovely.